Hey guys, so here is the trick from my perspective. Alright, so that's basically it. As you saw, we had a slack portion in this trick, so make sure to get rid of your string tension. It'll just make this trick a lot easier. So now let's jump right into the learning process. In general, I really like this trick because it's a perfect way to segue into another part of your combo. I think it's like kind of the perfect transition trick that you can use. It allows you to just get into a bunch of other stuff. So first things first, we're gonna start off in a basic trapeze. From here, you're going to curl inward with your pointer finger of your non-throw hand, just like so. And you're gonna just grab the string that's closer to the right side, so this string right here, and you grab it with your pointer finger of your non-throw hand coming from the front, so just like that. So we've turned in like that, we grab this string right there, and you should be in this mount. Make sure that when you're doing this trick, you curl these three fingers right here over like that before you even start the trick. So once I'm here, take this pointer finger, curl it in like that, and we're good to go. From here, what you're going to do is roll the yo-yo from the back over our throw hand just like so. So we were right here. We're gonna kind of point these fingers out and roll the oil like that. So our my pointer fingers right here pointed out, rolled out like that, and we're right here. From here, what you're going to do is pop just into a normal backwards green triangle. So you're gonna pop the oil into this string right here and pop out the back. So it's gonna look like this. So again, we're right here, we're popping the O into this string right here, and then it's just coming out the back, and we're dropping with this pointer finger right there. So it just looks like that. Now you should be in this mount right here. And here's where, in my opinion, the coolest part of the trick comes. And so once we're in this mount right here, you're gonna kind of pop the O up into the air and intercept this string right here with my pointer finger of my throw hand. So just kind of like this. So see how the kind of string intercepts like that when we go like that? That's what you want to happen. And so again, we're gonna kind of pop the O into the air. And once the string hits right here, we're gonna take this pointer finger and we're gonna curl it over and pinch like that. So we're gonna pop the O into the air and curl over like that. And so again, here's what this motion looks like. We're kind of popping the yo up like this, and you want to kind of intercept this string and then curl it over. And so now from here, this is kind of the basic jade whip. So we're popping the yo up kind of away from our body, almost a little bit to the left like that. So it should look like this motion right here. Once the string hits your finger right there, you want to curl that finger over and you're now going to turn your hand palm down. So our palm was up like this. And now real quick, make sure you have the string kind of going over your thumb like that. It's really important that you do that. But again, once we're here, we're kind of popping the yo like that. And basically what's gonna happen is once the string is right around there, we're gonna release with this hand right here, this is the non-throw hand, we're gonna release with this hand and grab the string right there and allow the slack to go around just like a basic jade whip. And so that process right there is a little bit tricky, but again, I'll break it down a little bit more for you. So you're swinging the other like that, it hits right there, the palm was faced up like this, we're gonna now turn it over like that, and the slack's gonna go over just like that. Make sure you hold this pinch right here on the pointer finger of your throw hand. Now here comes the last step of the trick. Once you're in this mount right here, what you wanna do is make sure that the uh, string is all lined up with the groove of the yo-yo. Make sure the string isn't over here or over here. Make sure it's directly in line with the groove of the yo-yo. What you wanna do is you're gonna drop this string right here, drop your pinch, and kind of shoot the yo into the air just a little bit. You'll notice that when I do that, a little loop kind of forms. Let me slow that down for you guys so you can see exactly what loop I'm talking about. But if you do this correctly, once you're right here, you kind of shoot the O into the air and release your pinch, and a little loop should form. That's the loop that you're going to want to take your non-throw hand, this pointer finger right here. You want to take this finger, and that's the loop you want to catch with this finger right here. So just for this last step right here, I'm going to push, push the O into the air, up like that, and catch the loop. It's gonna look like that. And so that's kind of like a slowed down version. What you really wanna do ideally with this trick is make it kind of look fluid. So you notice that when I'm doing this trick, it all kind of looks like I'm doing it in one fluid motion. And that's definitely the goal with this trick. You want it to look really nice and smooth. So again, we've done the backwards green triangle like that, popped up, we're bringing the O over to the side like this. We're doing the jade whip like that. And now what's happening is the string is gonna be in the air just for a second. And we catch that, just like that. So again, here, 
catch. And you really wanna let that loop hang in the air for just a bit, cause that'll ensure that you're gonna get the click for that motion right there. So remember, make sure that loop is hanging in the air and you just kinda put your finger in it and that'll allow you to do the trick. And so that's about it for this trick. I'm gonna go over it one more time. So again, we're like this, we're rolling over like that, popping into this string right here, upside down green triangle, and we're gonna bring this string on over. And then once you're in this motion right here, we're gonna kinda hop you into the air, release our pinch, and get this pointer finger ready to kinda grab it just like that. And you're in the basic trapeze, you can bind or do whatever you want from there on out.